So I'm just going to scroll down to that row, or that, that nested row. And right here, this is the one I want to push to the right. So I'm going to write call dash, and I want to do it on a medium size screen. So I'm going to write MD or type MD, push, and then I'm going to do it eight columns. For this column, I want to pull it on medium size screens. So I'm going to put call dash MD dash pull dash four columns. So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to swap places. I'm going to save it, come back over here, and I'm on my medium size screen, and I'm going to refresh. And you can see here that uh, our red column on this right side has been pulled, and the green one has been pushed. And when I resize my screen to the larger one, it's going to keep that behavior. Because remember, anything, any style placed on the medium size screen is going to go up. Uh, to the to the larger screen and when I go smaller down to like a tablet size it's gonna go back to the old layout of course it's not gonna do anything uh, on the smaller screen but stack the two rows now something that I need to point out uh, about this push and pull column ordering is that it's not gonna work on these smaller screens uh, these extra small screen resolutions and your small uh, don't have the column ordering available so if I were to come here and change medium to extra small and save it and refresh uh, you'll see that nothing happens here and also if I change it to small uh, same thing applies it's not going to order it in fact it's not even going to do it on the larger ones either the lowest you can go is medium size I'll save it and come back. Actually, why don't I make this large? And uh, I'll go all the way to large size. And there you, there you have it. When I go back down to medium, oh, maybe I didn't save it. There. So when I go back down to medium, it goes back to its, uh, its old layout all the way down to the uh, extra small. So again, remember, the smallest that you can go for these push and pull is the medium size screen. I should probably uh, add that here only for uh, medium, I'm going to do this, and large screens. So again, it's not going to work on your extra small and your uh, small classes, column classes, I should say. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the offset class, and uh, that's for moving your columns around. So I'm just going to copy that, and I'll put offset. And again, this is only for your medium and large screens. You can't offset. Uh, your columns on your small devices or your extra small and uh, what an offset does is it kind of moves your columns uh, depending on uh, what you offset it by uh, what the column is offset by and um, instead of push I'm gonna put offset And what I'm going to do is I'm um, going to create another row at the very bottom, just below the footer. And uh, when I offset it by four, I'm going to put first. I'm going to have um, call dash md dash four and then I'm going to add another class of call dash md dash offset four and I'm also going to give it a panel class just for style and why don't I just put a little shameless plug find easy 
Dev Toots, if I can spell my own channel right, find Easy Dev Toots on social media or whatever. Then I'll save it. And when I come over here and refresh, you'll see that my message down here has taken a, a stacked behavior because, again, it's only set for medium. And it's going to stay that way on a smaller screen. And you can't really tell, but the panel, what the panel class does is that uh, it adds like a gray background, but my screen's kind of bright right now. Anyway, um, once I get to the medium size screen, you'll see that it's been offset by four columns. And if I wanted to uh, offset it by eight, well, I'll just come down here and change this to eight. And uh, why don't I add a kind of bugging me. I want to add a body. We'll make the background of the body uh, make it black. I'll save it. And now you can see over here when I offset it by eight columns, uh, it pushed it all the way to the to the far end. And that's basically all there is to offsetting. Um, what you do need to know though is that you can't do something like offset 9 because that would go higher than 12. Uh, if I were to do that and save it and refresh you can see it gets kind of weird now and it's it's popping out of the container. Now remember not to go higher than 12 so if you have something like 6 don't offset it more than 6. I'm going to change that back to 8 and save it. 